Hi everyone, Matt from Valiant Technology here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create an online suggestion box using Microsoft Forms, Microsoft Power Automate, and Microsoft Teams. By the end of this video, we'll have a fully functional suggestion box that will send a notification to Microsoft Teams each time a new suggestion has been submitted. That's pretty handy nowadays, given that so many people are working outside of their office. You can see that we're in my living room right now. Um, you know, the idea of the traditional suggestion box simply doesn't work as well as it used to, so we're going to use technology to replace it. All right, let's get started. And uh, before we really begin, I just want to let you know that everything that you're going to see from this point on is being done in one shot. So if there's a mistake that's made, we'll find it, we'll correct it, and we'll move on. That's what happens, right? Okay, let's get going. Uh, first, we need to create our new form. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the new form button right here. And I'm going to give this form a really obvious name just for the sake of the demonstration. So demo suggestion box. We could enter a description, but I'm going to skip that step. I think that a suggestion box is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to add a new field. It's going to be a text field, and we're just going to give it a label suggestion. Two things we're going to really quickly do now is click on the required option because we want to make sure that people are typing in their actual suggestions before submitting the form. And we're also going to make sure that people have the opportunity to input a long answer. We're going to give them more than a single line uh, to enter their information on, and that should encourage them to put a little bit more data in than if it was a single line. All right, with that field in place, we're going to click on Preview, and we'll see that we have our suggestion box. Simple as that. Now that we have our suggestion box, we need to create a flow in Power Automate to connect it to Teams and make sure that our notification makes it to where we want it to go. So we're going to move over to Power Automate, and uh, take a look at this title really quickly. I love this here take care of what's important, automate the rest. That's exactly what we're doing. No one should have to sit around and look and see if suggestions are being added to a suggestion box. That's, that's a waste of time. We're going to automate that process to alert people when suggestions are made. That way, that's a task taken off their plate and a little bit of time each day that can go towards something else that can help grow a business. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on My Flows right here. And you'll see that I already have a couple of flows that I use on a daily basis. We're going to click on New Flow, and when I click that, you'll see that a menu comes down with a bunch of different options. You do have the option of using templates, and I do encourage you to look at the templates that are available inside of Power Automate. There are plenty of very, very powerful flows available, but given that this is an instructional video, we're going to start everything from scratch. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on Automated Cloud Flow, and we have to input a flow name. Again, for demonstration purposes, we're going to make this super obvious. Demo. Suggestion box. Notification. All right, next up we're going to have to determine a trigger. A trigger is an action that takes place that tells Microsoft that it's time to execute the flow. And in this case, it's when a response has been submitted to Microsoft Forms, and that's the first option here. We're going to check it, and we're going to click Create. OK, the basics of our, of our flow, excuse me, are in place. Now we're going to have to start supplying some information to the flow so it understands exactly what it needs to do. The first thing we do is associate it with the form that we want the action to take place after a suggestion happens. Uh, so we're going to click on Denimo Suggestion Box and click on New Step. Next we have to pull the information from that form submission that can then be sent to Teams. So we're going to have to get the response details. I'm just going to quickly type in response details because I know that's going to bring up this particular action, get response details, and you'll see underneath it it says Microsoft Forms because it applies to Microsoft Forms. We're going to go ahead and click that. Now we've got two pieces of information we have to supply here, and they're actually much simpler than they seem. First is the form ID. We're just going to select the same form we had already selected, our demo suggestion box. Next, we're going to have to find the response ID, and Flow makes this incredibly easy. Excuse me, Power Automate, formerly known as Flow. Uh, we're going to click on this box, and it's going to bring up a contextual menu, and we have the option of response ID. We're just going to go ahead and click that. That is literally all there is to this step. All right, now we're going to create a new step, and this is where things get fun. This is where we get to send the information to a channel in Microsoft Teams. We're going to search using the word Teams just to find all the options related to Microsoft Teams, and we'll go through this list until we find what we want. In this case, we want to post the message as a Flowbot to a channel. And the reason we're going to select this particular action 
is that we're automating things here. We don't want to have a notification come from a person because that person is not actually making the notification. This is automated. It is a removal of the human element where it's no longer necessary. So we're going to have this come from the flow bot. Now, first we have to select the team that the notification notification is going to go to. And in this case, we're going to select my sales and marketing team right here. Next, we're going to select the channel that the notification will be sent to. And in this case, we're just going to send it directly to the general channel. So we'll select that. Now we have our message. Our message can be very simple. In this case, what we're going to do is place the suggestion right here. And we're going to hit enter a couple times to make a little space. And we're going to add who it was submitted by, by selecting responders email. In the headline, and this is just going to be the title of the message that's sent to Teams, we're going to uh, play something like new suggestion. And we're going to uh, put the, uh, the responder's email. That way, we at least have an idea of where it came from. Yeah, it's a little redundant in the message. So you know what? We're just going to remove that. We don't need it. Like I said, in real time, we're going to get this done. We're, we're shifting things around a little bit to make sure it works for our purposes. And you should definitely do the same thing to make sure this works the way you want it to for your business. OK, well, we're pretty much done here building the flow. We know that it's going to execute when a specific response has been submitted to the form that we chose. We are going to grab the response details, and then we're going to use those to compose a message that will be sent to the Teams channel. Let's go ahead and save that, and then we'll test it. And uh, testing is actually pretty neat in the case of uh, a flow. We're going to go here, and we're going to cl click, on, click on the, the test icon, excuse me, and we're going to do a manual test. And that's going to give us an opportunity to fill in the form on our own and see how it works. So let's go ahead and do that. Click Test. We're going to go back to our preview form. And uh, I'm a cereal person. I love eating cereal when I'm in the office. We always have cereal in the office. Thank you, Stefan, our COO, for always making sure we got the Count Chocula and Cocoa Puffs and everything else. But nowadays, I'm really into corn pops. So let's make that a suggestion for the office. I want more pops in the office. Please. Thank you. And we're going to hit submit. As soon as we do that, I'm going to quickly move over to the tab where the flow is so we can watch the test take place. Submitted. And here we go. We can see the flow is running. And we're seeing little green check boxes every time one of the steps passes. And in this case, all of them have passed. That is fantastic. Now, if I show you my general channel in Teams, boom, right there, You'll see, I want more corn pops in the office, please. Thanks. There we go. As simple as that. We've made a suggestion box that upon submission sends that suggestion directly into Teams so people are made aware of it in real time. That's pretty powerful. And this is only a very, very basic example of what can be done. Excuse me one second. There we go. With, with Microsoft 365. There are so many other things that can be done. I hope that this video was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please do reach out. Leave a comment here on YouTube. Um, speaking of YouTube, you should, <laughs> you should subscribe to our, our channel. We have a weekly live stream where a bunch of our team members talk about tech topics that apply to small business. We have plenty of instructional videos done by uh, Marianne, our training manager, and uh, webinars. Tons of different technical resources designed for small to medium businesses, and uh, I suggest you check it out. But again, if you have any questions, you could always reach out to us in the comments or send an email directly to us. Uh, visit our website at thevaliantway.com. You could send us questions that way, and I will do my best to answer them for you in future videos. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.